But anyway, look at this. What's, why are you looking so sus? You know? Hey guys, welcome back to another My Singing Monsters video. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at some concept art. Original versions of the monsters that didn't make it into the full game. And let me just say, for the most part, it's a good thing they didn't. So on the wiki, there's a section called concept art. These are some prototype images from Big Blue Bubble showing early versions of the monsters and other game features as the game was being developed. I took a look at some of these guys and wow. All right, so the first section is natural monsters. Here is a concept of Noggin, likely during the tail end of its creation. Why is it likely during the tail end? Well, there's some other versions here that are very different. Like, look at this one. Here, here are two different concepts for Noggin. With the first one, I, I really like those legs. Also, there's an extra arm in there, pretty cool. The second one kind of looks like a robot. It's kind of kind of nice, actually, you know? Kind of kind of like a sort of more T-Roxy than the original Noggin. Also, guys, uh, from the look of it, they wanted Noggin to be made of wood originally, but then they decided to go with rock. This image right here has me floored. These are apparently Tweedle concepts. I mean, here's the original Tweedle in the corner, and you know, we all know and love the Tweedle, maybe. But what is that? What is that disgusting orange thing right here? Don't get me started on the other one, okay? One thing at a time here. That looks really angry, okay? And it doesn't look like it makes a la 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 noise. It looks like ah! This other one, guys, um, it borrows some things from like the Bogart, I think. It sort of looks like, uh, I think it's the rare Bogart. Something like that. I don't know, I kind of like, I kind of like that one. <laughs> but the other one with the gigantic ears is just so weird. I mean, this thing right here, guys, is apparently a mammoth prototype, which is really strange. And why, why is it so big it can't even fit here? It don't look like a mammoth to me. It looks like it's a, a water element monster. Maybe that's why they decided they weren't gonna go with this one. But I kind of wish it was in the game. I feel like it would be a, a cool, you know, additional monster because it, it really looks nothing like a mammoth. It's actually kind of hilarious how many different versions of mammoth there were and they even changed the design after the game came out. Originally he had more of like a I don't know not a smile on his face. He had a really dumb look on his face and they changed it but anyway look at this. What's why are you looking so sus? You know here is a, uh, a toe jammer original concept guys. I kind of like it to be honest. I mean, it's a little more creepy than the original Toe Jammer, but he looks real mischievous. You know, this guy's up to something. Drumpler. Drumpler looks amazing. Drumpler definitely looks like a like a, a high element count monster. You know, this guy looks like he could be on like Wubblin Island or something. I, I kind of respect this disgusting quad pedal creature. I don't even know what to say about this one, guys. Apparently it's an early Ma design and it does look like, um, is it Epic Ma or Rare Ma? One of them. Oh dear God, look at that clamble. I guess they decided they didn't want people to think the clamble was gonna like hide under their bed at 3 a.m. and murder them. Something like that, I don't know. Um, this, uh, this Kongle, He's actually kind of cool. I don't know what kind of instrument he would even be uh, without his little drum, but that's cool. And the, the pummel just looks a little more evil. Oh my God, I found something even worse than the clamble and it only took me like one image, guys. Pom Pom. What? Not gonna lie, guys. Pom Pom looks like it just like rolled in after a night out on the town with the gals. You know what I mean. The scups and the thumpies didn't really change that much. It looks like they put a lot of those flutes on different monsters and then decided not to go for it. Hmm. Now, this is apparently an early concept for Riff. It's not that much different, but it definitely feels like something is wrong with this creature. Doesn't look like Shelby changed that much at all, but uh, again, with the little flutes, man. The, uh, the Deej, he had a couple of flutes blowing bubbles coming out of him and he was a lot more tentacular. And he had little wiki wikis. He doesn't have those anymore, he has the little buttons instead. Stock doesn't look that much different, guys. I mean, it just looks like they they gave it a rough drawing and then filled in the parts later. He He's pretty true to the original. I mean, it's Stog. How can you not love him? How, how, why would you ever want to change him? Oh, I kind of like the original flower design over here. It's got nice colors on it. I like those 
pink petals. And does he have like a man bun? It looks like he has a man bun. Okay, so here's the uh, rare flower. I, I knew one of the flowers had a man bun, guys. I guess they decided to make that a more rare thing. Also, I only just noticed that uh, he has one black eye. Oh yeah, well he has a, a bunch of injuries. I don't know what he's been up to. Oh, look at that, guys. The original concept art for the Glowl, or at least the one on the top here, that's what the epic Glowl looks like. That they actually, they actually ended up putting that in the game, which is awesome because it's so different from the original Glowl, which they were calling a Scowl, a Scorch Owl. Like, look at this, guys. This is the epic Glowl, and it's 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 literally just the concept art but changed a little bit. These are a couple different designs for the Ziggurab. I kind of like the one where it's walking on its hands. It's just, it feels more novel, you know? And I never really understood what the heck Ziggurab is anyway. It's some sort of crab thing. Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't know how to feel about skinny Repetillo. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why, but this image is called Lilo and Stitch.png. This is one of the Bisonorous concepts. And uh, this is also one of the concepts which I kind of like a little bit. Not the one on the right. The one on the right looks like super evil and the one on the left, not so much. I could see like uh, the, the small guy being a little more evil. He's like the emperor guy, but the other dude, he should be a little more friendly, right? I mean, the final design does give the small guy one eye, but it's not because he is missing the other one. I, I think that's what's going on here. It kind of reminds me of like someone wearing an eye patch, which is why they look so evil. Guys, I don't know how to feel about the Tring like, the, the concept art looks really close to what they went with, but something's really off about it. Can't quite put my finger on it. Yes, I can, but I don't want to call him a crackhead. The thing on the left kind of reminds me of an ant brat. The thing on the right, I'm pretty sure, is the, uh, the, the, the flomox. But what's the thing on the left? Oh, wallaby, a.k.a. liar sheep, and flomox, a.k.a. ox monk. Okay, they had some interesting names for stuff, guys. Honestly, here's some concept art for some fire monsters, including everyone's favorite beautiful monster, Boscus. I can't say he's any more ugly than, uh, you know, the final version of him. Kind of might even like that one a little more. I don't know why. What is this guy here? I mean, it says Puppet, but then who, <laughs> who the heck is the robot? Oh, apparently the robot is also a Puppet, guys. These are two very different versions of the Puppet. I want this in the game. I love this little dude. Look at the, the cute little guy in there. He's all like, bruh, where am I? Not much to say about the bonkers concept, guys. I mean, it's pretty close to what they went with, except I think they were calling it WAPS. That reminds me, guys, I forgot to mention what they were originally gonna call the Bisonorous. Deuce. I don't know why, cause cause deuce means two, but it also means a number two. So I'm glad they uh, I'm glad I'm glad they changed the name. Guys, these Bone Island concepts are pretty interesting. Like, what is what is that over here? What is that one-eyed thing? And what's that thing? I know what the dentures are, but they look completely different. And then the other three look the same. The description for this one doesn't actually say what that monster is, guys. So maybe we'll never know. Here's some. Uh... Socks concept art. Little weird, man. I, I'm glad they didn't make it look so creepy and like tense, you know? I mean, it, it looks like they wanted it to be a werewolf or something originally. Okay, it's a lot less werewolfy now. Is that that? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the Fung Prey. Uh, okay, I think they improved it a little bit. But then again, praying mantises are never good looking. The heck? Okay, there's <laughs> there's some weird ones here, guys. Like the uh, original uh, Grumpire is looking really weird. His mouth is like right in between his eyes and he has like wings going everywhere. The Rebro, I mean, it is pretty similar, but also quite different. And as for the Wisp guys, I kind of like that design right here. It kind of looks toe jammery. Toe jammy? I guess, maybe. Oh snap, we got some Wabox concept art. This uh, this looks a lot like a Wabox. There's the, uh, the the stone one. Isn't that like pretty much what it looks like? They, they didn't do it like that, right? It's just, it's just, it's just a box. There is no inactive version, maybe. I don't know. The heck, what is that? Is that, is that what this thing was originally gonna be? I can't remember the name of it, but geez Louise, that is very different. It kind of reminds me of a Teletubby. And why does he have a footage of his own face in his stomach? The rest of these are pretty similar to what they came up with. Looks like they went through a few iterations on Brump though. 
I mean, I think I think they made a good choice on what they finally went with with Brump. Guys, what the heck is up with the thwack concepts? I mean, one of those, his tongue is literally nailed to like a piece of wood that spins around. Sheesh! Here's Screamo before his terrible paint factory accident. Look at this! The original Wordo concept, they were known as lyrics, and they were not beautiful not that the wordos are that beautiful anyway but why with the six arms man oh my god that is terrifying i am really glad they decided to not make the sugar bush look so much like christian bush hey here's a pretty recent addition to my singing monsters the strombonin some original concept art for that Looks pretty similar to what we got. Here's uh, here's an interesting one, guys. Oasis Dream Mythical Concepts. So, uh, you know, the, the Lucky Charms monster that shakes what its mama gave it. Uh, shakes butt, balls, jiggle around, making the sound. That sounds really terrible out of context. Don't worry, I'm just shaking my butt and letting my balls jiggle, okay? The second version shakes its head Beard jiggles around making the sound. Okay, that's an interesting choice. Uh, third one, tail shaking making the sound, and then the, the fourth one, tail shaking making the sound. But that, that looks like a monster that they actually added to the game. Like that looks like a, I think it's called a Periscorp? I mean, okay, it's pretty different from the Periscorp, but for some reason, when I saw it, I thought about the Periscorp. Okay, <laughs> oh boy, they, oh man. They had some weird concepts for this stuff, guys. I mean, the original uh, Yule looking a little weird. And originally they maybe wanted the Punkleton to just be a skeleton or a zombie who plays the banjo. Is that is that what you're telling me? No, maybe, maybe that's not supposed to be a Punkleton. I have no idea. Also, I'm kind of digging that hula over there, guys. Definitely doesn't look like a hula, but it looks kind of cool. Maybe, maybe you could put that in the game? S some sort of special not hula? Yeah, okay, so it says in this description, this is five varying designs of Punkleton. So they, they were gonna do it. They were thinking about it. They had some ideas, guys. They had some ideas for the gobbly gourd. <laughs> I kind of like the one that's just one eye over here. It looks a little goofy. Whoa. Okay, Dipsters. Dipsters went through a few iterations. I feel like I would like them more if they look like the, the picture in the middle, guys. Like, look at this little guy springing out here. He's amazing, and he kind of looks like, uh, I think it's uh, Rare Hula or Epic Hula. Nope, not what I meant. I meant Rare Pom Pom. See, it, it looks like Rare Pom Pom in a way, and I kind of love it. I kind of love these dipsters. Why do I hate the actual dipsters? All right, guys, we've reached the end of the concept art, and all I can say is, wow, this was a ride. There's some really interesting monsters in here. Some of them were hilarious, and some of them were downright terrifying. Let me know what you thought down below in the comments, and while you're down there, maybe you could smash the like button. And if you want to check out another one of my videos now, since this one is over, you can go ahead and click right here. Thank you for watching.